time-lapse videos can be a dynamic way to bring life to a variety of subjects which might otherwise seem mundane. Time-lapse photography allows us to see movement that we would otherwise miss. I'm James Nyhouse. I'm a film instructor here at Full Sail University. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own basic time-lapse video. The concept behind time-lapse technique is quite simple. You take a series of photographs at a specific interval over a period of hours or sometimes even days. These photos are then strung together to make a short video. Essentially, we're turning hours and hours of footage into a few minutes of video playback. Think of it as compressing time. The challenge to picking a good time-lapse subject is being able to visualize what the subject will do during the shot. The best subjects are those that show some sort of growth or transformation. It can be a sunrise or a sunset over a city, clouds drifting in the sky, or the stars moving across the sky on a dark night. The speed at which your subject moves will determine how long you need to shoot and how often you need to take a photo. We call this the interval. For fast moving subjects, you will want to take pictures frequently at a short interval. Subjects that move at a slower pace will require a longer interval. With a little experience, this will become second nature. To better understand how many photos you will need for your time lapse, it helps to understand how frame rates work. When you watch a film in your local cineplex, you're actually seeing 24 still images being projected on the screen per second. This frame rate is referred to as frames per second, or FPS. For broadcast video, the frame rate is 30 FPS. If you watch one minute of video at 24 FPS, you are actually seeing 1440 still images. Now, when we shoot a time lapse, we simply reduce the number of photos we take per second, put them together in an editing program, and then play them back at 24 frames a second. Because the interval between each frame is longer, the end results looks like the subject is moving at a much faster speed. 